right, Shin Megami Tensei 4 is one of the best games I've ever played, if not the best. It's really fucking, it's like the anime thing, it's like, I remember, you know, I put it as number one, but then Final Fantasy VI is just too good. Oh, God. I'd say it was number two, pushing the survival world up to three, which is a bit sad. It's so good. I, like, really wanted to play that game for ages, and it wasn't out in Europe, and by the time it came out in Europe, I was so pissed off that it was delayed that I was like, well, fuck you then, I'm just not fucking playing with you. And I eventually caved and bought it, and it's like, a, I looked up how long it's going to be, because I always do that with RPGs, see how much I'm going to actually have to pin to it. It's like 50 hours, I was like, fuck. But after about three hours, three to five hours playing the game, I knew that was just going to fly by, and it's already flown by. It's like nearly 53 hours now I've been playing. It's like my second playthrough. It's the only game, it's one of the only games, Skyward Sword, not included, cause I, but then I did give up on Skyward Sword. But I remember at Skyward Sword, beating the credits, and just like being like, well, I'm going to play it again, right now, and just started it again. And this same thing I have with Shin Megami Tensei, but that, this game has multiple endings, so it makes more sense. Plus I tried to do it on medium mode and it was fucking bricks, so I was like, nah, I'll see it later, like, <laughs> and just went back on to uh, fellow. Um, it was pretty cool, I like I, um, it's so hard to explain without spoiling it all, and I'll probably do a review about it, it's like one of these games that I'm like, I could talk about, so I'll probably leave all that shit out, but needless to say, I spent 53 hours in counting because I'm still like the music's fantastic the the art style on the demons is just phenomenal it's like it's like like a very anime start like style but it's like inspired by like Greek mythology and not only Greek mythology but all that kind of stuff and it's really really fucking cool like especially because some of the start demons are kind of like Ah, uh, okay, sound. And especially the boss demons and, like, the main story demons, you're fucking, like, flying with these designs. And the pattern that come out is mental. Fuck, I really need to review this because I really have so much to say. That's not even brushing on the fact that it's one of, like, the best... the best um, RPG battle systems I have ever played. But that's also included the talk system, which you use to recruit characters. It's like... It's like, if you played Pokemon, instead of, like, weakening them and throwing a ball, you had to, like, fucking convince them to be on your side, because their demons are just... It just doesn't make any sense. Like, that's what put me off Soul, uh, soul Hackers, because it didn't make any sense. But then when I kind of, like, dove into it a wee bit more and thought, maybe I shouldn't give them everything. Like, like it's, at the start, I was like, yeah, 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 like, have all my medicine, have, like, this money, just fucking take my life, whatever, go for it, just kill that guy, whatever, I'll just do what you want, and they were like, ah, fuck off, but now, like, like, I'm firm, like, if I don't want to give something, I will refuse, and, like, if I, like, general rule I do is, like, I get, like, they ask me for, like, a life stone, which is nothing in the game, so you use that, and then they ask you for something else, and you do that, and then after that, the end talks uh, option appears and just like end negotiations right there just fucking they're coming they make them fucking come to you and they're like shit maybe I maybe I did the step back of it and they're like maybe maybe it's a fair deal I, I respect you for fucking stopping me and I was like well Ken 